So let's start with the initial one. Uh, check the results and see. Oh, holy camoli. Um, however, this looks quite quite okay to me. Yeah, yeah, some extreme stress is going on. Um, let's create some more viewports. Two more and then tile them horizontally. We load the fixed one in here. This one is the free rot. And I hope if we now re uh, wait, we can load a wrong one and then the correct one again so they are all in the same. Ah, come on. Too bad. Maybe I can clear this close and then I can reopen it. <laughs> For some reason it doesn't load it in the same exact position. Ah, so maybe this I can Ah, wait, I can show you guys. Um, uh, where is it? Plugins, tool, no. Uh, tools, options, no, where is it? Help, result, view, toolbars, and then views. Yeah, that's very helpful. We can put this somewhere over here and then we go on this one. Yeah, now they're linked and now I can link the viewports and now, yep, they all behave the same. After three different, the pinned and castered with a fixed velocity and the free rotation on the right. So now if I analyze it, we can see, yep, we can see a lot of different um, things going on. So first, the first one and the last one seem to be like the opposite to each other, while the one in the middle is kind of like the thing in the middle, which makes sense. Because if we now animate the plot, um, ah, they are not time synchronous, but let's go somewhere to the middle of the simulation here and maybe here. You see, since this is not allowed to rotate, to rotate around this axis, it has to stay at this angle, whereas this one is allowed to rotate. The opposite case, um, the opposite is the case for the simulation on top. This stays under the fixed angle because it's not allowed to rotate around this direction, whereas the left side is um, allowed to rotate. The one in the middle actually is not allowed to rotate at all. So you see this, um, yeah, this tippy-like, house-like shape evolving and uh, tent-like, I should have called it. So because this, these angles uh, have to remain uh, more or less unchanged. So Let's take a closer look, for example, if we now go back, let's all bring them in the, ah, okay, no, they didn't. Let's bring them almost to the end of the simulation. And we can check some of the stresses. These are defined, uh, in terms of the global system, so these are the stresses in this direction. And if you're more interested what's going on in the sheet, the in-plane principle stresses are usually the one of interest. And um, yeah, you have out of plane, not much going on. This makes sense, of course. The min in plane, yeah. <laughs> so take a look at um, more cycle again to get a feeling for the uh, min and max in-plane principal stresses. Um, shear stresses, 
um, can be reflected and can be a huge problem if you go to extreme problems and uh, sometimes here switching from reduced integration to um, non-reduced integration so um, a quadratic geometric order might help to prevent such weird um, anomalies. So I created these anomalies on purpose to tell you this is exactly what you always should look for um, in a simulation. So such a behavior is definitely not very realistic, especially um, switching from high positive to high negative shear stresses right within one element. So this definitely shows you that towards the edges some strange things are going on and this looks more realistic on the top. However, um, you can definitely say increasing the number of elements will help and maybe switching from S4 to, uh, from S4R to S4 um, because you have a relatively coarse mesh here. You really have to say, look at the, the bending that technically three elements undergo. So especially if you have just a few elements along your bending line, so to say, it's definitely quite helpful to go for non-reduced uh, integration elements. So as always, um, create tons of more jobs. Um, I know it's a lot to do, but it might help you to understand even more than I do. And um, I think it's quite a useful um, example to show the differences. Um, and uh, yeah, check different um, element types, use, do the continuum shell tutorial model and um, maybe also add some contact uh, 